come and decree that there is a liquid fire that is being released in this room. Come out. Out. Now watch this. Jesus. The first thing he does is cast out devils. We, we don't hear stuff like this preach. Because that means we have to have enough power to confront a demon. The, I don't care what nobody said. Oh, it's done away with the apostles. No. Jesus, after his resurrection, cast out devils. Even Catholics believe in casting out demons. They don't do it though. If they don't do it? No, they don't do it. They do it in... Um, in uh, Europe, they cast devils out. Cause I was gonna go to the, uh, I was gonna go to their school and do, take demonology. Those folks will tell you their names too. Hallelujah. But I, you know, Mary ain't never do nothing for me. Uh, it was Jesus. Look at this. She went and told him. Listen, your testimony is going to be powerful this year. Your testimony is going to be very strong. God has to allow you to go through some things to give you a testimony. So when you go and tell somebody, they don't want to see what you're talking about. Your testimony is going to be your greatest sermon. Is what did God do for you? Come on. Look at verse number 12. After that, he did what? After that, he did what? Uh-huh. Look at verse number 14. After he what? Appeared. Okay, he just appearing and appearing and appearing and appearing and appearing. And appearing. And appearing. Jesus comes and he starts showing himself. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. After he showed himself to the two men, then he and then he shows himself to the eleven. Yeah. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Let's read verse number 14. After he appeared unto the what? Eleven. As they what? Said. And did what? They ate meat. And what? Uh huh. Then, I mean, them with their unbelief and hardness of what? Heart. Because they what? Believe not. They which had seen him after he was risen. Which means Jesus was risen, they still didn't believe. They still didn't believe him. Look at verse number 15. And he said unto them, do what? Go. What did he say? Go. Into what? Go. And do what? The to who? Every creature. He says, get up, go, preach the gospel to every creature. He that what? Believe it. And what? Yeah. Shall be what? Say. But he that what? Believe it not. Shall what? Be damned. It's simple. You believe you're going to be saved. You don't, you damned. Somebody say amen. amen. I didn't say it, that's the word of God. Say law. And what? And these signs shall what? Follow them. That what? Believe. Listen, he says, everything you're getting ready to read, this is what follows your belief. He didn't say this follows the apostle. He didn't say this follows the prophet. He says, you, these are signs that you believe. These are manifested signs that you believe. In my name you should do what? That's the first thing he says. <laughs> You gotta cast out some devils. <laughs> you wonder why you get retaliation. You wonder why people come against you. You wonder why people act crazy with you. It's the devils. Uh, they cry and asking for you to cast them out. Wow. Lord, what brought you to this service tonight? <laughs> I told you that a lot of people come to this kind of service. Because I felt an annoying tonight to charge somebody to say, you're about to cast out some devils. My God, you're about to cast out some devils. 
I'm telling you, you're not going to be intimidated by that thing. But you're going to speak to that thing and say, listen, you come out, cancer. I command yes. you to come out. You're not going to be afraid of AIDS. You're not going to be afraid of sexually transmitted diseases. You're not going to be afraid of schizophrenia. You're going to look at that thing and say, because I believe, I command you, come out. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. For them that what? Believe. For them that what? Believe. Do you see that in your Bible? Believe. Does it say anything else? For them that what? Believe. They shall do what? They shall cast out devils. They shall do what? They shall speak with new tongues. They shall do what? And if they do what? It shall do what? They shall do what? And they shall what? Oh God. That how many people believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ in this room? Let me see your hands. You can heal the sick. If you drink of something deadly, it won't harm you. You can pick up a serpent, it won't bite you. What am I trying to tell you? I'm trying to tell you that the mere fact that you just believed on that name gave you power. It is not just for a minister or a pastor. He said everybody that believes it cast out devils. That means we need ushers that cast out devils. We need greeters that cast out devils. We need preachers that cast out devils. We need altar workers that can cast out some devils. I want you to know, GTC, we are a church that cast out devils. So we're about to equip you, train you. Every one of you going to cast out devils. Every one of you going to prophesy. Amen. Yes. Everyone. Yes. Our kids going to cast out devils. Yes. You don't hear what I'm telling you. I said every one of us is going to cast out devils. Every one of us is going to heal the sick. But how is the church going to grow? It's going to grow when you understand what you believe in. And that's the problem. You don't know really what you believe in. It's more than you speaking in tongues. Speaking in tongues. Let me tell you something. If you ain't healed nobody yet and you speak in tongues, we should revoke your right. We should tell you you cannot come into church and say no tongue until you come back with a sign. We all ain't say nothing to me. You need to come back. Who did you say this week? Who did you turn it on? Who did you, whose life was turned on? You want to speak in all them tongues. You want to do all that, but ain't no sign. What devil did you cast out? Or oh, some of y'all are getting uncomfortable. You're getting uncomfortable because you thought tongues was power. Tongues ain't power. Tongues is an indication you got power. I'm trying to. Y'all don't want me to preach tonight. Somebody shout it out. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Oh, I wish I had it earlier the night I would preach. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. I said, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. I'm a devil buster. Say, neighbor. I heal the sick. Say, neighbor. I can raise the dead. It's not by my power, but it's by the power of Jesus Christ. Say, neighbor. You're looking at a weapon. Destruction. I will say I will receive that power. Power just dropped in this room. Shut up. I said power to heal the sick. Power. I'm about to get crazy. Don't you go to nobody who's dry. I want you to go to somebody that looks like they got the Holy Ghost. Go grab them real quick. I said, go grab somebody that got the Holy Ghost real quick. I want you to look them eyeball them. Just get one person, one person. One person, just grab them and look them in the eye. And say, hey, you. That's why the devil wanted to kill me. Because I'm the one that was going to cast them out. I'm the one that was going to heal the sick. I'm the one that was going to raise the dead.
never see death. There's no my God. Let me tell you something. That's why depression don't want to lose you. Because he knows if he lets you go, you're going to set on the spree. That's why suicide don't want to let you go. Because if it lets you go, you're going to deliver a nation. God help me. It's not just fighting you. It's fighting the people in you. Oh God, but tell your neighbor after tonight, me and my nation is coming out. Listen, I'm about to preach this till you start going up in a praise. It's enough room in here in us for the, we're about to tear this place up. Because let me tell you something. The Bible says the, the, the earth groans and waits for the manifestation of the sons of God. People that understand the power that you got. It says every living thing. Sit down, let me help you. Jesus. Let me help you. Mr. So y'all. Let me help you. He says, I don't want you to do this just at home. He says, I want you to go into all the world. Huh? Yeah. I want you to go into all the world, preach this gospel. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, holy one. Yes. Holy one. Yes. Preach this gospel. Somebody say, I'm a preacher. I'm a preacher. Somebody say, I'm a preacher. I'm a preacher. What does it mean to preach? It means to proclaim the truth. Yes. You're a proclaimer of truth. To preach means to prophesy. Yes. Somebody say, glory to God. Glory to God. Watch this. Watch 19. Now, this is what really got me. If you ain't with us, you just ain't going to be with us tonight. <laughs> Verse number 19. Read. I want the whole church to read. Verse number 19. Read. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven. Hold on. Hold on. So after the Lord did what? So once they heard his voice, y'all are hearing the word of the Lord tonight. After he heard, the Bible says the heavens opened and received him. The heavens opened and received. Here is another indication that something major has happened because we see a heaven called receiving. There's a heaven that comes and takes people up. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I won't see death. Heaven will take me up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hear what I'm telling you. Paul said all of us won't die. All of us won't see death. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care what y'all tell you. Disease ain't going to take me out. The devil is a liar. I'm going to be caught up to meet God. Oh, mighty wonder. If you want me to live in the last evil days and I'm 106, I'm going to live. And I don't care what the devil is doing. Let me tell you something. Over 3 billion people got chips in their arms. Maybe it's time to cast out some devils. You don't hear what I'm telling you. There was million, over 3 million got chip. It's billion? Yeah. Million, 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 million. Got chips in their arms. All of Europe got chips. We got to go over there and cast out some devils. They don't even know. Do you know in Detroit, uh, just a few months ago, Pastor, over 2,000 people sold, they sold over to the devil publicly. Public. Sign contracts while people shouting in church. The devil had a tactic. While you sitting there trying to be grand, talking about your bishop and your supervisor. There were some people that were being on sight and they soul over the hell. What y'all and y'all y'all looking at me crazy, but I'm coming after the devil. While you were sitting there talking about your bishop or your pop, there were some people that was hoodwinked by the devil. We don't have time to play church. We don't have time to build this thing to glorify a man. We need a church that knows how to cast out the devil. Oh, y'all ain't screaming with me. Y'all ain't 
here screaming with me. I said we need a church that'll cast out the devil. Y'all still like screaming right now. We need a church that'll cast out the devil. Sound like. I want you to let hell know. That's why I'm preaching so hard that I told God. I'm going to preach with all my might tonight. I'm about to let the devil know can't nothing in hell stop this church. God, he ain't coming back for no church. He's coming back for an army. I'm trying to understand you. I got a weak sense of strong sense. This ain't no weak gospel. I said we ain't weak. Oh. The weapons of our warfare, they ain't kind of. They're mighty to God. They're ah. pulling down a stronghold. What's getting ready to happen? We getting ready to take over. Oh. My God, if they can get 2,000, we about to get five. Oh. We about to get 200. Oh. We're after the thousands. Oh. I said we're after the thousands. Oh. When the devil got you worried about your rent, the devil got you worried about your bill. This is bigger than a bill. He's trying to distract you from the power that's in you. Just cast the devil out of your landlord and tell him, I ain't going nowhere. I'm staying. trying to distract you and you sitting there crying you sitting there crying and you don't even understand that this flat, this war is not between flesh and blood this is a prince of power my god this is a prince of power sit down this is a prince of power you know what I'm trying to do I'm trying to create a riot tonight I want to stir you until you can't sleep tonight. I want you to be so on fire. I mean, everywhere we go, and we're fighting amongst them. I'm telling you, we're, we're about to become so contagious that Walmart, we're going to take over Walmart. People are going to be slain under the power of the Holy Ghost. But you manifested an You want to march? Come on, left, 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 it's for me, the army, it's for me, the army, it's for me. We say left, right, 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 the army, it's for me, the army, it's for me, the army, it's for me, the army, it's for me. Sit down. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. I'm about to manifest in a moment. Say, you didn't hear, oh my God. 
Say, neighbor, I'm about to manifest in a moment. Tell them I feel power all in my belly. I feel something raising up on the inside of me. I feel like I can leap over a mountain. I feel like I can run through a tree. I feel like I can run through a wall. There's power rising up on the inside of me. It's more than your rent. It's more than your bills. It's more than your problems. There's power in you. Get up with your pitiful self. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. This. Look at the verse. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost in the room. I said, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost in the room. I promise that the power of the Holy Ghost is about to take you out. And some of you are about to be slain under the power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost is about to come over your whole body. Shut up, living, living, living. The power of the Holy Ghost. I said, the power of the it's taking over more bodies. It's taking over more bodies. The power of the Holy Ghost. Come on, receive it. 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 It's happening now. It's happening now. You will never be the same. You're about to manifest. I say you're about to manifest. You're about to manifest. You're about to manifest. I decree every believer is going to manifest tonight. Listen to this. Do you really think that a demon can possess you, but the Holy Ghost can't possess you? You didn't hear what I said. If a devil can possess a temple, how much more will the Spirit of God? If demons can take over a temple and make them do things they would not normally do, I came to tell you about to be possessed by the Holy Ghost. You're about to be possessed by the Holy Ghost. He's going to make you do things you never thought you could do. Look at the text, come on. Verse number 19. Something's about to happen in this room. I said something's about to happen in this room. How many of you want to be possessed by the Holy Ghost? I said how many of you want to be possessed by the Holy Ghost? How many of you want to get to the point where you can't even control yourself? I said how many of you want to get to the point where you start knowing scriptures and words that you ain't even read before? How many of you want to get to the point where you start looking at people and the Holy Spirit start telling you things about that person that you didn't even know was on the inside? There is a power available tonight. It's called the power of the Holy Ghost. He's taking over temples. He's taking over minds. He's taking over spirits right now. The power of the Holy Ghost is descending in this room. Say that God move the this is, this is, let me tell you what is needed right now. He wants your hunger. Show him that you're hungry for it. Show him that you want it. Show him that you're hungry. Pull on it. It's not about crying. It's about being hungry. Be hungry.